Samsung Galaxy S20 in all its siblings were finally officially announced and released or available to be reserved or maybe a pre-order in the future. So we got some details, details that maybe you didn't know about. Actually, I'm just joking. Between all of the leaks and all the rumors and just the early commercials, there has been absolutely nothing that was announced that we already didn't see already. I think there was one surprise and that was this designer model that got released or it's gonna be released. And the details with this limited edition are very limited and very hazy. So we don't really know much about it other than it looks amazing and I want it. It's probably gonna be more money than I actually wanna spend. So I'm probably not even gonna get it. Are you gonna get it? I don't know anybody that's probably gonna spend more money on top of this already expensive phone. And let's talk about the prices. We got the base model, the Samsung Galaxy S20, going for $9.99. And 99 cents. And now we have the S20 Plus. This is for $11.99. And 99 cents. And then there's the Ultra. $1,399.99. You heard me. Oh my God. That's expensive. Is it? This thing maxed out the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra maxed out storage actually comes in at $1,599.99. And that is for 512 gigabytes of storage with an expandable one terabyte SD slot, which SD, those aren't cheap either. That's gonna be another at least a couple hundred bucks to get the added storage. But let's go ahead and compare that phone to the iPhone. This is in comparison to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 512 gigabytes of storage, which you cannot increase the storage on the iPhone, $1,449. So there's a comparison there. There's a price shift. Samsung top tier compared to iPhone top tier, Samsung's more expensive and the Samsung's don't hold their value. I just went online and I was offered a $700 trade-in for my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is a phone that I think was like 11 or $1,200 and they're not even six months old and they're only offering me 700 bucks. Now I'm gonna take it because over on eBay or Swap and all them other places, I'm only seeing them going for like 550, 600. So of course I'm gonna take Samsung's $700 premium trade-in. It's a win-win for me and for Samsung. These prices are so high, even Samsung is trying to distract you from how high they are. If you go on their website, they literally have the actual price shade it out everywhere and reduce price to entice you to click and engage into the website to trade in, to do this, to do that, all that other stuff, device payment plans. They don't want you to feel the sting of how expensive this thing is. It's smart marketing, but a smart consumer, which you're here watching this video, which tells me you're a smart consumer, is you don't want to be tricked. You just want the details. You want to know what's it going to cost me? What's the damage? Whether or not your carrier or your city is 5G ready or compatible, you are paying for 5G technology in any three of these devices. That's right, it's built right in, they're all 5G, there's no way around it. So, going back to the actual Samsung event, before they announced the S20 and all of its siblings, they did this big show, this big marketing spiel to the Galaxy Z. You heard me, Z. You kind of want to call it the Galaxy V because it kind of like closes like a V or closes, opens and closes like a V, but it's a Z. We're not sure why, but that's what they did. And the lady said that this phone is going to change everything about smartphones. It's going to change the way we use them, the way we hold them, the, the way it's going to change everything, but does it need to be changed? Is this a change that we asked for? Did we say Samsung, cell phone markets, brands, manufacturers, give me foldable displays? Did we say that? Don't think I've ever said I wish this phone would fold. Did you? Do you think foldable phones are the future? Head down to the comment section and tell me, pause right now. What do you think about these foldable phones? Are they a fad? Are they a trend? Are they gonna take off? Are they the future? Are they the past? Are they the present? Or should we just 
not buy them and let them die. My thoughts on today's event. Hello, TM. Goodbye, DJ. That is right. Samsung has a new face for their keynote events, for their unpacked events, if you will. And it's this guy called TM Co. I can't remember. His name is TM. He seems pretty cool. This was his first event. He did an amazing job. But one thing I noticed throughout the whole entire event, I don't know if it was a glitch or if it was on purpose or if it was a timing thing. Everyone kept like saying the same thing twice in several different spots. They would say something like, welcome to the new galaxy. Welcome to the new galaxy. Like not that exact word, but you get what I'm saying. Did you hear it? Did you notice this or was it just me? It was like several strategic places. They kept repeating the same words again and again. Like they meant to do it. Like there's no accident here. We did this on purpose. If that was the case, I don't know why. If they didn't, good job, kudos on the fast speedy recovery. Cause Lord knows it's gotta be hard being in front of that big old stage, all those lights, all those people. There's a lot of pressure on you and I think everyone did a really good job today. We have a trend, Samsung is following Apple. <gasps> I said it, Samsung is following Apple. That is right, and what are they doing? You're thinking to yourself, Aaron, what are you talking about? Look at the camera. The camera was the upgrade. Last year, 2019, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro Max, blah, 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 all that. It was all about the camera. Samsung, 2020, Galaxy S20 Ultra, S20 everything, all about the camera. It's like, there's nowhere else to go. We wanna take the power of our DSLRs, of our amazing digital cameras, of our mirrorless cameras, and we wanna pack them into a cell phone into our pocket. And is this where we're going with smartphones? Is this what we need? Do we all need to be photographers? This is my question. I get it, we can take a good picture, snap, we put it on the Insta, it goes through the Twitter, it gets compressed, it doesn't look anything like it really does when we took the photo. It always looks better on the screen or on the computer screen. But where do we look at most of our content? Well, I think we look at it on our smartphones, on our cell phone, on our pocket computer. Is this progression with these cameras necessary? Or is Samsung just giving us more specs, more numbers, more megapixels in order to make us feel better about charging us more money? That's what I wanna know, Samsung. And I also wanna know, where was my invitation to the Unpacked event? This is the third year in a row, it got lost in the mail and I'm getting tired of it. Next time, I'm gonna refuse to go. If I don't get my invitation, I'm not going. <laughs> hmm. All right, guys, all jokes aside, the event went off really, really well. I enjoyed it up until the point where I fell asleep. And I think I fall asleep in almost every single Samsung event. They are missing something. They don't have that emotional enticement like Apple does. Apple's events keep me engaged. I need to see more. I wanna Twitter about it. I wanna text message about it. I wanna tell people in my life about it. I wanna let people know this new feature just came out and you need to have it because it's gonna help the quality of your life. Samsung isn't bringing us any of that. They sure aren't, they brought us Galaxy Buds 2 with an extra speaker and an extra microphone. And here we go, some more battery life because they were already really good battery life, but now it's better, so we're gonna talk about it. Actually, no, no, we're not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna save that for another video when they actually are released and they're in my hand and they will be the finishing touch, the cherry on the cake, if you will, to my audio quest. So keep your eye out for that video when I finally do my audio quest wrap up. If you like what you heard today and you wanna see more of me, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you didn't like what you saw today, well, there's a dislike button, looks like a thumbs down button, but if you hit that, you run the chance of your phone, computer, tablet, whatever, self-destructing. And if you're in your car and you hit the thumbs down button, your phone explodes, your car explodes, everything's gonna explode and I don't want you to die. So hit that thumbs down button at your own risk, guys. Till next time, thanks for watching for the love of tech. Namaste.